about four minutes. I'm going to wait to start the class until noon. That way we have as many people as possible together. If you don't know me and you're checking out this video, uh, I'm Cassie and I have Lexington Fitness in Spring Green, downtown Spring Green. Uh, we are not teaching the classes there, of course, live right now because everybody wants to stay home with social distancing as that's you know, recommended, of course. So we decided to post a combination class. I'm going to combine Gentle Fit and Forever Fit together into this one half an hour class so that you guys can feel connected. So if you're watching and you're tuning in, why don't you let me know maybe what you're struggling with? Normally when you guys come to class you tell me, you know I'm really kind of hurting right here or what can I do for my knee or my shoulder or I can see that you're struggling with something. So now that we're, we've got a few minutes before class starts, if you can just type in that you're watching, that you can see it, that you can hear me, and that, uh, you know, it just helps me to know that there's people out there watching. And let me know what you might be struggling with. We'll be starting the class at noon. Um, I just hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and that your family members are all healthy wherever they are um, and since I've got a few more moments I think I'll also ask you guys when you see these videos or you see my posts if you would share them uh, maybe you're seeing it through my personal page or you're seeing it through Lexington Fitness or you're seeing something through Cass uh, Move with Cassie if you wouldn't mind sharing so that the this information doesn't stop with you um, then your friends will see it and it will really help me get the word out that there's three months free on the Move with Cassie website, that PBS has these short eight to, minute, eight to ten minute videos that people can do for free. Thanks for turning that down. I think... Um, well, I don't, I don't think, I know, uh, PBS's stance on the new programming that we've put together called Quick Fit with Cassie, uh, they know that this time of people having to stay home and be isolated and not be able to get to their fitness centers, that it's really important to A, feel connected, and B, keep exercising. So, you know, we want to come at it from that point of view that it's, it's a valuable resource. As well as trying to keep our moods up, I think... Uh, it's every, I want to relay to people that exercise helps with your mood. I think uh, anybody that's exercised a lot, they know as soon as you're done exercising, you feel better. So I think it's close enough to noon we can start this class. I would like you to have a chair, have a nice bit of room around you. We will be stretching, but we'll be strengthening as well as using some extra energy today because we're probably sitting around a little bit too much. We need to get our blood pumping and do some nice deep breathing. Do some counts where you breathe in for like the count of five and then you exhale for like the count of eight, pushing out all of that dead air. Let's just start with that right now. So a nice deep belly breath, inhale, for one, two, three, four, five, and then exhale. Keep it going, push it out. Two, three, keep going. Four, five, six, pulling in, inhale. Keep it going, keep it going. And then exhale. Keep it going. Now I hope you've got your shoes off today because that's the way you stimulate those sensory receptors in your feet, in your skin, and that helps relay information to your brain. There's a lot of information from a lot of different sensory organs. Let's just press. Let's just heal and press. And always having our feet bound up into shoes makes it very hard for those sense receptors to detect what's going on. All right. Mar Martha Kim. All right. Hi, Martha. Thanks for joining. Linda Stoddard. Linda, hey. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. All right. And let's just do some nice hip circles. And the 
other way. Yeah. <laughs> Cam's making fun of me. He's watching it delayed. All right, shift and shift. All right, a nice big stretch up. Inhale, exhale. Lengthening, lengthening, and as you bring that arm down, bring it down behind the head. Linda Haneke. Hey, Linda Haneke. All right, and a little twist. Good. A little bit of a swim, twist. Doesn't have to look exactly like me. The point is to do big circle moves. Bill and Jenny. Hey, Bill. Hey, hey Jenny. All right, and then over. Look behind you and just let that arm fall behind your head. All right, and now let's lift it up and over and we'll start working our way forward. Front arm again, up and over. Inhale, exhale, back arm up and over. Let's hold it here where we're facing the side. Do your best to move your hips to face the front and then lift through your rib cage, lifting that chest and that heart high up to the ceiling. Very good, lift your chin. Where are your hands? Are they directly out from your shoulders? All right, we'll rotate the arms. We'll twist in the other way. Right now I'm looking forward down my arm towards the front. Let's keep the hips squared to the front. Do our best to have your hands directly out from the shoulders. Of course, that's as long as there's no hip or you know pain in your shoulders, a bad pain. Let's lift this front arm up, turn your face. Reach over the back, and now back arm up and over. Good, lift and turn your head. Lift that back arm up. All right, now turn your face to face the side. Lift through that rib cage, lift your chin. Let's just do a couple circles, moving those arms to the back. Restoring a little bit of normalcy, normalcy? Somebody help me out with the grammar. Normalcy to our schedule. All right, big inhale as we lower those arms. In fact, I wanna let you guys know I'm going to be doing these classes. Let's do a little swim back. Uh, every day during the week here, Monday through Friday. I know we normally only have a Monday, Tuesday and Thursday at the gym, but I think staying connected every day during the week Keeping us on a schedule, it'll help me. Hopefully, hopefully it'll help you. All right, arms up. We're still facing the side. All right, a big inhale. And we'll roll it down. Start with the neck. Then we'll lower the arms. Big inhale. Belly inhale. Exhale. Slide those hands down the outside of your leg. If it feels better for you to turn these toes, do that. We're sitting into this back hip. Let your head relax. And if being down as low as me is not comfortable for you, by all means, have your hands maybe more on your shin. Let's part way come out. See what I'm doing? I'm shifting through my hip. Do that too. Halfway up, inhale. Sit back, shift back. You guys don't realize how much benefit you're also doing to your brain in these classes. There's something called neuroplasticity. Let's lift two arms up. But when you move and use multiple parts of your body and your brain at the same time, your brain has to respond and it does by putting these good grooves into your brain and growing the brain. That's why sitting is so bad because there's not a whole lot going on when you're just sitting and watching TV. But listening to me, thinking about your body, moving your body and learning new information helps your brain grow. And that neuroplasticity, which means basically that your brain is like warm plastic that can be molded in a good way so that you can continue to learn and your brain can continue to grow just like when you're a child. Okay, lift. So old dogs can learn new tricks. Inhale, exhale. 
All right, I've got my hands either. You're talking about me? Yeah. <laughs> Cameron said he's had an old dog. He's a hot dog. I didn't say that. <laughs> well, he is hot. <laughs> All right, come, come up. You knucklehead. Flat back. He says I'm a knucklehead, which is true. All right, shift around. And we're not old either. All right, let's extend back with that back knee, and we'll pop up. Inhale, exhale, and pop up. That's what I like about like Facebook. There's a certain level of dork I can still assume. <laughs> you assume it. I can you always... assume it well. <laughs> <laughs> and let's go the other way. All right, so. Reach it back with the other leg now, and then we're going to drop a knee down. And use your front leg to pop up. Inhale, exhale, drop it down, and pop up. And reach it back. Facing the front. All right, let's just do some bigger movements using those arms. Don't forget about that breathing. I hope you guys are breathing heavy. I think sometimes people don't want to be heard breathing loudly, and so they'll hold their breath a little bit. But this really helps your muscles to do their job a lot better. All right, and a little lower arms. Hopefully you're not hitting any of your furniture. All right, arms down, let's bring them to the back. Keep it going. And what's great about being at home, no one can see you if you feel kind of um, awkward, which hopefully most of you guys are, are over that. All right, and I let's reach, 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 reach. Have nice wide legs. Bringing your foot to the back instead of your knee to the front, at least at this point. Reach, reach, and reach. Okay, so kick across. This always is a little confusing for people. Let's just do one leg at a time. If you're mirroring me, this is your left leg. Across. Now take your hands and reach to the hip. Touch your hip. And make kind of a controlled land, okay? Toes to heel. There's a lot going on. And as your neuromuscular pathways open up and clean out, let's switch sides. You'll be able to do all these things and think about all these things and then do them naturally without even having to think about it much. And that's part of that neuroplasticity with your brain growing. Reach, reach. And let's just bring the knee up and now opposite knee, right across. Let's bring those hands up behind your head. Reach, kind of twist into it, twist, twist. Twist. Now extend your arms one at a time. I can hear you breathing, Marina. <laughs> All right, reach, 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 kick it, kick, kick. So not hard, but it's enough to get your blood pumping. All right. All right, stand in place and let's do just a little slight squat. So from the side, you can see I've just moved my hips back a little bit. And from here, um, let's just extend. We're just going to touch a toe to one side. I'm not shifting my weight, okay? So I'm not doing this. I'm not putting weight down through my foot. In fact, this foot in the middle is holding all of my weight as if I'm not even touching the floor. You can touch, but just do your best not to shift your weight. Hopefully you'll know what I mean. Okay, reach and touch, reach and touch, kind of fast to the back. Extend, stomach's in, supporting this slight forward lean of your torso. Reach it, reach, reach, and we're not shifting our weight back either. All right, so hold it like this, maybe lift a knee up. This is, yeah, this is harder than we normally do. And touch to the side, bring the leg in. Touch it to the back, bring it in. And if you find yourself wobbling, just try to stop. To the side, to the back, stomach's in, to the side, to the back, 
and stand. And if you need to put your toes down, just make as small a base as possible. This leg is, um, you know, the joints in your hip and in your knees are having to stabilize you. And that's a, that's a really good thing that's going to contribute to better balance. Let's move this leg out to the side. And if you want to have your arms out, now try to make yourself long and tall. You don't have to force your foot up off the floor. It will come up naturally on its own without you thinking about it. But if you force it and you try to do more, you're you know, going to be hindering your balance improvement instead of helping it. So, so don't force don't force it, especially if you find yourself uh, shifting back onto two feet right away. All right, we'll do the other leg. Shake that off. Once again, we're sitting back. We have this slight knee uh, bend to the back of the knee. Hips are back. Chest is slightly forward, and we'll be reaching out with your other leg now. Once again, we're balancing on this non-moving leg. Reaching back reaching back. I sure hope everybody's families are doing well. Our family is so spread out. I know we're all kind of preoccupied with family worries, financial worries. I'm sorry for everybody. Hopefully for 30 minutes we can go to another place Reach, reach. Um, if you guys would do me a favor, when you see my posts come through on Facebook, on this page, on the Lexington Fitness page, on the, my personal Cassie Beats page, if you would do me a great favor and always hit the share button, that would really help me get the word out beyond Spring Green. It should be right here. Share, like, Comment. Yeah, and then there's a share now or something. You, there might be like two times you've got to hit the button. So we're still doing this. But I find I'm kind of hitting a wall where uh, it's not getting past like my friends. And with the three-month you know, free thing, I think that's important. With the quick fit with Cassie on PBS, I think that's important because, as they said, it's a valuable resource to... All of us that are stuck at home and it, it's at no cost so you're doing me a great favor all right hopefully you're forgetting about your balance as you listen to me and you're practicing your balance all at the same time my goal in these classes is to educate you maybe a little entertainment as well as work on your fitness but it doesn't have to be boring My family is just glad that I've got somebody else to talk to besides them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. I know my breath is up a little bit. I'm sure it's not all that coffee I've been drinking today. All right, and back down. Good, shake that off. Linda says, I have to go back to work. Thanks for the stress, my brain. Oh, good. We did it well as well. See you, Linda. Take care. All right, so the next thing I want to do, let's use this chair. All right, a little bit more practice with squatting. Once again, I think you guys all that are watching do real well, but for the sake of other people, uh, walk until you can feel that chair against your knees. Okay, that's different than getting close and moving your knees. I want you to walk until you feel that. Now, spread your feet a little wider. Okay, so that your feet are about shoulder width apart. And I'd like you to reach across the chair. And as you do this, your butt has to go back to balance you. Now, without moving your feet, open those knees a little bit. That's going to activate your glutes and your hip muscles and all those wonderful things. Pull in your stomach. Okay. If you need to lower your arms a little bit so that you can feel more in control with your upper back, do that. And we are just holding this move. In fact, let's have your hands down a little lower. 
but you see how I've got this nice long line with my spine. Try to do the same thing. We're going to lift one arm. Lift it, lift it, lift it. Other arm, lift. In fact, now let's put two hands down. You can use one hand to push against the chair and the other hand to lift. This is really going to help stretch that upper back. Pull in your stomach. So one hand's getting leverage and the other arm is stretching and strengthening. Your legs are burning. Switch arms up and down. Lift and lower. Lift. One more. Lift and I know it's going to feel good to go a little lower first before I come back up. Nice. Good burning move there. All right, let's step back a little bit and we'll do a similar move. Your feet, I've got my feet about shoulder width apart. You can do the same thing. You can have a chair right in front of you and we'll adjust those feet as you go down to find a comfortable width and shift around when it stops being comfortable, start shifting around, getting one heel down and then the other, pushing through the hips or the heels and up. So lift and over. Good. Let's do that other side. Lift and over. Good. Face me now for a bit. Hands on your hips and I'd like you to uh, leave your hips where they are, but we'll turn through the shoulders, but hands on the hips. And see how my elbows are pushing forward? We're going to dip towards the front elbow and then towards the back. Front elbow towards the back. And let's go the other way. So uh, let's see. Try to keep the hips in place. Yeah, try to keep the hips in place and then have the elbows forward, dip towards the front, dip towards the back, the front and the back, good. All right, so keep your chair next to you. We're going to do some hip flexor stretching. Um, I'm trying to have you guys set up so that you can see forward. Why don't you stand like this? facing forward, and then I'm going to have you draw your right leg back like this. I guess I'll just keep talking. We'll just do this together with me looking away from you. All right, so first thing I'd like you to do, you've got your right knee down. If your knees bother you, just um, put extra padding under your knee. Now this front leg, I'm going to show you for the sake of the camera. See right now my ankle is under my knee. You might need to scooch your foot forward a little bit. That's a scientific term, scooch. <laughs> okay, squeeze your behind and your hips will shift forward a little bit, right? And as this happens, your knee is still pretty well lined up over your foot. Okay, inhale and then exhale, going back into it a little deeper. I'm going to get something under my knee. Okay, so I'm doing the same leg as you guys. Shift forward. Lots of breathing. And now I'd like you to lift this arm up. Open that shoulder up. And then try to pull the arm back. Sink your groin forward towards the floor. As much movement as you can get. Going in and out of the move at your own pace, matching your breathing, lift, exhale. Your back foot, it helps to have the top of your foot on the floor. All right, so now let's bring this foot back up under your knee. And what I just did is I just moved this front leg a little bit out to the side so that instead of my feet being pretty lined up, I would be too unstable. I moved this leg a little wider because what I'm going to have you do next, you're going to want a wide base. All right, so keep facing the way you're facing. Now I'll show you what it looks like from the side. I've got this wide base with my feet. Lift this arm up and then let your weight shift to the right, okay? 
exhale, let this arm go over the top of your head. When it's tight, you just pause, work that breathing, inhale, exhale, and over. Oh, that feels good. Now let's reach down towards the floor on your side, lift an arm over, and you guys can let your two hands come down towards the floor in front of you. Carol, we're just doing. Hey, Carol. So close and yet so far. All right. So that's what we just did from here, guys. You guys have just been relaxed down like this. And if this is uncomfortable for you, this is a move that can be done with your leg up on the chair. All right. So we're going to switch sides now. So this is how I'd like you to set up. So you're looking forward at your computer or your phone, facing it, have a chair in your right, on your right side right now, facing forward. This is for your knee if you need it. This time you'll be bringing your left leg back, all right, and coming down onto a knee. We're doing this to stretch your hip flexors. Okay, the first thing I'll have you guys do is lift your arm up, extend that shoulder up by the ear. Once again, lots of deep breathing to assist in all of the muscle lengthening. Lift that shoulder up, inhale. Now with that lengthened shoulder, you see all my shoulders up by my ear? I want you to do your best to exhale, letting that joint move back. One more time, inhale, lift that shoulder up and let that arm fall backwards. From the side, this is what I was doing. I had a shoulder up and I was trying to move back. And I realize not everybody has the same range of motion. Maybe you're more forward. Do your best to extend through the elbow. Okay, shoulder down, shoulder up, shoulder down, shoulder up. Moving through ranges of motion with your joints open is the key to uh, getting stronger muscles. All right, so let's move on from this position. I want you guys to lift that arm out to the side. Now you're gonna let your weight shift towards the left, okay? Sink into that left hip. You can let your face Turn and face the chair beside you, letting that arm go over your head. Good. And up. Now don't be frustrated if this seems like we're doing a lot of things and it's unfamiliar. That's just part of starting something new. It's not too hard. And even if it seems that it won't seem like that forever, there is about a four week, I'm going to turn sideways here. In fact, I think we're done with that. Let's just come up out of that. Because now I want to tell you, there's about a four-week window where your brain and your muscles need to reconnect. All of those neuro, neuromuscular pathways need to be cleared out um, so that your brain and your body can re-communicate better. So be patient with yourself is really all I'm trying to say, especially as we have new people joining us. All right. Molly Day says it's wonderful you're doing this. Oh, hey, Molly. Thank you. So nice to see your names come across the screen. That is encouraging from this side because, yeah, you like to know people are out there. All right, and let's just lift this leg up. All right, and slide your hand down to your ankle. Very good. And we're just going to sink down into the standing hip. And I want to just keep encouraging newer people that are seeing this class for the first time. Uh, be encouraged, first of all, that you found something that's gonna be really great for your joints. But if you feel like anything is too difficult, you know, say something to me because I've always got modifications. And you can always go on to the, your squeeze your butt. There you go, you're gonna feel that all the way down here. You can always go on to my website. I've got three months for free now, right now, because of all of this, um, you know, sickness and isolation. 
but I have specifically beginners classes on there as well as movement tutorials and you can get into that directly from here from Facebook that sign up button right there I've already got a 90 day free link right on there um, but I like to tell people about that let's just uh, bring this knee up and out because you know we're all isolated but I have like I said movement tutorials on there beginners beginners classes relaxing classes there's darn near a hundred videos on there and with lots of explanations about what is in the classes and we're adding them and we're adding them yeah and every week i add more more classes but also right now pbs just launched quick fit with cassie which are online eight to ten minute short mini classes which are also free that's at pbswisconsin.org slash quick fit Okay, I've got my leg up behind me. So this is a great hip flexor stretch. Uh, and it goes all the way down your quad towards your knee. And if you've got tight knees, uh, if you think you've got bad knees, sometimes it's just other things. As long as there's nothing torn or broken, we can usually get you some relief. Okay, so in this move, Hang on to your ankle, your pants, grab a towel, whatever it takes to get this leg here in your hand. Squeeze your butt. When you squeeze your butt, your pelvis tucks under and that immediately whew, pulls all the way down to there. Now try to press that knee down towards the floor at the same time as squeezing your butt. Whew, that's pretty powerful, so don't hold it for very long. We'll do it again, inhale. Exhale, press that knee down. Squeeze your hind end, stir that knee. It's a little bit more of an advanced move if you don't get all the things we were doing. Nope, it doesn't matter. What you are doing is still more than what you did yesterday. Let's put that foot down. I have my weight on my back leg. Susan O'Reilly. Sue, hey Sue! <laughs> Sit your hips back. You make my voice go up. I'm so excited to see you. All right, pull those toes towards you. And hopefully this is what your back looks like as opposed to rounding your back, which if your hamstrings are tight, this is probably all you can do. What you'll need to do is come up, stick that chest out. All right, your chest is connected to your upper back. So squeeze that shoulder blades together. We're stretching, I'm not just yakking. You're pulling those toes towards you. Big inhale, exhale. Put your weight down through your back foot, but continue to lift and lengthen through your spine. All right, let's come out of that a little bit. I know that's a big stretch. It's 12.30. Inhale, exhale, we'll sit it back. Can you believe that's been 30 minutes already? And I, I know some of you are like, yes, we can believe it. <laughs> but I, I'm having a good time. We have to do our other leg, though. I don't want you to be... Walking in circles. Walking in circles. All right, we'll pull that other foot back. All right, so it's not very far back. What, it's only a little bit behind the other one. I'm going to put my weight into that back leg, okay? So now you'll shift your weight back a little further yet. You can really feel the weight go down through your heel. <laughs> I'm doing the same leg. Okay, I'm gonna switch legs. Same thing though. Sit your weight back, pull your toes towards you. Lengthen that spine. Those of us that sit a lot or stand with your knees slightly bent all the time, those of you that have been told, never lock your knees out, and you always have a slight bend in your knee, you're going to have tight hamstrings. This is a good move for you. Especially if you have sciatica, low back pain, it can come from tight hamstrings. All right, inhale, exhale. I've even had people do this just by putting their foot up on like a soup can. Lift up your arm, this will help you to not 
collapse forward. Whew, that really makes it worse or better. I felt that all the way down into my heel. All right, shake that off. We'll do a few more swims as we finish up today's class. And I just want to remind everybody that, move this aside, I'm going to teach this class at noon every day this week. And I'll try to do it, um, you know, throughout all of this isolation that we're going to be having, you know, Monday through Friday at noon. Please let other people know. Please, please share all my videos and posts so that we can get the word out that we can do gentle, easy movement together to stay moving because movement is one of the big three things to staying healthy. All right, let me know what you think. Let me know where your sore spots are and we can address some of those things tomorrow. And I'll see you next time in class. Stay well.